morning. This is Dave from the Scooter Lounge, and right here I've got a Genuine Buddy 170, which is just about one of the most indestructible scooters you can buy. Extremely reliable, almost nothing ever goes wrong. But there is one thing that's a user error problem that sometimes results in a dead battery. Okay, right here we have the Genuine Buddy ignition switch. This is the same switch uh, as far as functionality on the Buddy 125 and the Buddy 50 also. It allows you to turn the key on and off, as well as to lock the steering column like this for security. But the other function it does is it opens the seat. And you can open the seat from any of the positions, from on, off, or locked. In order to do that, you have to push the key in, and it goes in a little bit further, and then you push counterclockwise, that pops the seat. So what happens sometimes is when people are riding this scooter, they will turn the engine off with the kill switch up on the handlebar. And uh, when they remove their key, they'll push it in, turn it where it pops the seat open, and then pull the key out, which actually leaves the key turned on. It doesn't look like it's on. It's kind of halfway between the on and off position. But you can see here that the lock cylinder has a little gap it's kind of pressed in a little bit. What happens is, first of all, if someone turns the kill switch on, they can start scooter up and ride it away um, because the ignition switch is technically still on. The other problem is that since the ignition switch is still on, your battery will go dead and uh, you won't be able to ride it. So the solution to that problem is simply to always make sure when you're turning the key off that you're not pushing it in. Pushing in only opens the seat just on and off like that. But if you turn it off like that, the lock cylinder sits in a little bit, it's still on, it never turned off. All you did was open the seat.